Uh, the guys came back in great shape. Um, we uh, big emphasis on discipline, big emphasis on accountability, which has been great. Um, our guys have really embraced it. I think it's going to be key to long-term success of the program, not just this year, but in years, you know, beyond this one. Um, you know, been impressed with the effort. Been impressed with with how our guys have handled the preseason. Um, it's been it's been hot. It's been a little bit adverse. Um, I think probably the, the biggest thing is the competition that we've had this year. Um, we're deeper than we've ever been before, and, and when you have depth, it fosters competition at almost every single spot in, in, in the All-22. So it's been very exciting to watch. Guys have really battled, and I think it's it's gone a long way as far as our preparation for Week One. Um, I think our team excites me in a sense that um, I've watched our young guys grow. I've watched our older guys mentor some of our young guys, um, really welcome them into the program, help them with the X's and O's, help them with the classroom stuff. And, you know, it's a, it's a fun group. You know, you can't say that about every single team that you coach. This group is unique in a sense that, um, you know, they're very supportive of one another and, and you start to see the quote unquote team chemistry, you know, kind of starting to build. And, you know, certainly I think you need to sprinkle some winning in on top of that to, ha to help it to grow in, in a sense. But, you know, it's, it's a fun group in a sense that they're just very much tied together. They like to laugh. You know, it's a funny, funny group. Um, some of our some of our first year students are quite comical, which is which is fun. They've kind of come out of their shell and. Um, really added to you know to the team chemistry. So we're super excited to move forward. Um, you know, I think as, as as we hit adversity because it's football, it, it's going to happen. And having that that tight knit group in the locker room is is going to be able to overcome that adversity. So for me, the thing that I look forward to is is watching them start to compete and, and face some of that adversity um, and how they're able to overcome it. You know, Coach Nelson's daughter Maddie is uh, battling cancer. Um, obviously, Coach Nelson being part of our family, Maddie's a big part of what we do. And, you know, our guys have kind of embraced, you know, her story and her journey. Um, and I think one of the unique things about when, when things like this happen is, and I remind our guys fairly often about perspective. You know, it might be a little bit hot on the turf. You may be a little tired. You may be a little bit sore. But if you can keep that in perspective when you know the battle that we have a, the Nelson family is going through literally every single day. Um, you know, for us, you know, next weekend, it will we'll kind of, you know, pinpoint that effort. Um, you know, Maddie's on the ticket for week two. Um, there'll be an opportunity on the back of the ticket. There's a QR code where you can actually donate. Um, so a lot of, a lot of things, you know, wrapped up next week. Um, you know, kind of around the Nelson family to let them know how much they mean to us and how important, you know, they are to us and know that, you know, in some very, very, very small capacity, you know, we're, we're working to support them every step of their journey. Well, I think, we, you know, we started um, literally Sunday after the FNM game last year. Um, we kind of retooled our leadership council. Uh, Brandon Booz and Jaime Henderson are our team captains. Um, you know, the leadership council and I, and, and to include those two, they're both on the leadership council, but um, really worked to redefine our culture, really worked to um, kind of redefine who we are in, in many senses of uh, our team construct and, and the makeup of who we are. And I think what we've seen during the preseason is the, some of the fruits of that labor, I think is it, it's certainly not a, not a finished product by any stretch of the imagination, but. The leadership from our locker room is key. I, you know, when you, when you talk to coaches, I think it's probably across the board. Um, coaches lead, you know, lead good teams. Players lead great teams. And I, I, it's really exciting for me to see that growing in our locker room.